Okay, I am going to um, walk you through how to do Unit 1 Lab. So I'll minimize this, and um, it says here to click on the 1.6 squared assessment. So click on that, and there's a file here that I click on and save it wherever I want, and then I'll open it up. It should be open. So here's the file. Um, and I'm going to minimize this so that I can read through um, the assignment at the same time I'm doing the work in Excel. So I also need to minimize this. Um, this way I can read what this says and then do it over here. So the first thing is. Um, to save it as SC1 sales and inventory. But, um, so I'm just going to go here to save as the shortcut for it. SC1 sales and inventory. But I would also like you to add your last name. So I'm going to put Watts. And then in the sheet one worksheet, that's where I am here. Um, it says sheet one down here. Um, enter the word totals in C14. So C14 is right here. Enter totals. And format all the cells in sheet one to century font style and a 12 point font size. So um, I can just select these cells since that's all there is. And go to um, here and find Century font style. So here it is, and we need to change it to a 12 point. All right, now they're all the same font. Set the column width for columns A through G to 13.5. So I'm going to select columns A through G, and I'm going to blow this up for a minute. Just so Makes it easier to find things. All right, and then we go to um, where it says cells, and we want to format them. We want to format the width, and we want them all to be 13.5. There we go. All right, I'll minimize that again. Edit the entry in cell B2 to read item number. B2 is right here, and I just want to go up here and change it to number. Use autofill to fill the item numbers from B3 into the range B4 to B13. The item number should increase by one as they're filled. So I just grab this little um, sort of box down in the right hand corner, and you see how it changes to a plus sign? A little plus sign and I just drag that and they all go up by one. Um, now we want to copy all the contents of A3 and paste them into the range A4 through A8. Okay so to do that I'm gonna click on this again but I'm gonna hit, hit the control key on my keyboard and then drag it down. I'll show you what happens if you don't hit control. If you don't hit control, these all go up by one. Um, so I'll use the handy undo button, hit control, and drag these down. Voila. Back here, um, let's see, we are in number eight, delete column F. So just right click on column and hit delete. Okay. Format the range A1 through F2 so that the text is bold. So here to here, these two first rows, and we want it to be bold. Set the alignment in the range A2 to F2 to wrap text. So now I just want this one and the alignment. Uh, I'm going to blow it up again because some things Oops, I don't know what I did there. Um, 
Yeah, here it is. Some some of the words don't show when it's minimized. So wrap text. <clears throat> Prepare A1 through F1 for the title by changing the fill color to red accent to darker 25%. So I'm going to select all these. And there's nothing in there yet, but that's OK. Um, so we want it to just be a different color. So we go to the fill button here. And when you hover over them, it tells you what they are. So we want the one that says red accent to darker 25%. All right, so here. Okay, so we have them selected, and uh, we hover over until we find the one we want. Um, so here's just red accent two, and if you go down, there's lighter, lighter 60%, lighter 40%, and finally we get the one we want, the darker by 25%. Um, let's see, number 12, make the following font changes to the range A1. F1, the title should appear in two lines. First line should read status report, and the second line should read sales and inventory by item. All right, we have merged. Okay, yes, we have we already merged. So these should all be merged and centered. Let me make sure. Okay, yeah. I think I skipped that one before, but Merge and Center is right here. So select them all and Merge and Center. And now I'm going to type in the name. So the first part is Status Report. And then if I do Alt-Enter, I get the next line. And I want Sales and Inventory by Item. All right, and then I skipped um, this one where we change it to white, italics, and size 14. That's OK. We can still highlight it. And we change this one to white. And italics is right here. And then just put this on 14. I make sure I didn't skip anything else. All right, it was bold, wrapping. We did color. OK, font change, merge and center, <clears throat> and then enter the title. All right, now we're on 15. Um, increase the height row, height of row 1 so the entire cell, the entire title is visible. So right now we can't see the entire title. But if I hover over between 1 and 2, I get this little arrow. And I just drag it down, and I can see the whole title. Um, We did that. Number 16, format the values in the range C3 through C13 with dollar signs in two decimal places. So here we want dollar signs, and it's already set for two decimal places. Um, but if you right click into format cells, go to number, this is where you change the decimal places. Um, format the values in range E3 through F13 with comma style zero decimal places. So that's these two. All right, I'm going to blow this up again because that way we'll just have a um, better view. But if you click the comma up here, you get comma style. And I think it said two decimal places. Dollar sign and two decimal places, yeah. Oh, sorry. Comma style, zero decimal places. OK, so right now we have two. So um, remember I said you could go to Format Cells and change this to zero. And I'm going to go ahead and save at this point. I'm not done, but it's always good to 
um, say when you've done a significant amount of work in case your computer crashes. All right, let's see where we are. Uh, number 18 in cell E14, so that's this one. Um, we want to use the auto sum to calculate the values. And then 19 is the same thing. So if I just grab these cells down into the cell that we want to put the sum and just click the sum here, it'll add it up. You can do the same thing with this one. So those two are done. Apply all borders from A1 to A14. So we go up here to the borders and we want all. Add a thick bottom border to row two. So highlight row two and we want a thick bottom border. All right, now 22. Oh, and then add a thick bottom border to row 13. Since we already had it selected, all I had to do is click on it. And add a thick line border around the perimeter of A1 through A14. So we want a thick perimeter border. That's this one. Okay. Insert a new blank worksheet in the workbook. So you just click here and it makes a new one. And then move sheet four ahead of sheet two. So just put it right there so it comes first. So the order is sheet one, sheet four, sheet two, and we need to delete this one. Uh, rename sheet one to the status report. So if you just right click it, I'm going to go rename. Okay. And we want to change the orientation of the status report worksheet so it prints landscape instead of portrait. So orientation, landscape. Um, add a header to the status report worksheet that shows the date in the upper left hand corner and your name in the center. All right, I'm going to blow this up again. Um, so we want to go to insert and click on header footer and then uh, it wants the date over here so we just want to put current date and then in here your name. And then the next thing is to add a footer so go to footer and what it wants in the footer is um, the page and the page number. So I'm going to type page and then we want to find page number. So now it'll display page and then the number. And we only have one page in this assignment but if we had multiple it would automatically update the number there. Um, so we have that. We're getting there. Almost done. <laughs> We did that, um, header, footer, and if I have missed anything, just please let me know. Um, center the worksheet both horizontally and vertically on the sheet. Okay. To be honest, I don't exactly remember where that was, so I'm going to dig a little bit here, maybe in view. Find something that says center. Page layout. Hmm. Okay, I was on to it. You go to margins and custom margins and then just click on horizontally and vertically. Click OK. Um, so if you look at a print preview, it looks really nice. The um, chart is right here in the middle, has your name, the date, and what page it is. So it'll look great for printing out and this is important if you're 
submitting this to your boss for a project or something. All right, we're almost done. Um, we're centered, save it. So save it again and submit it as directed by your instructor. So um, to do that, let's go back to Lumen. Um, you just click on the assignment and click choose file and try to remember where you saved it. I think mine's in here. Right here, open, it'll attach it, and then you click submit. Um, so when you submit it, it's going to say you got a zero, um, but that's just because I have to go in and grade it. I hope that helps.